in this bitch and I don't even rap. Most of these niggas, they be bitches, they be really cats. We gon' spin right on they block and hit him in his hat. We gon' spin and take they money off they fucking trap. Yeah, I'm riding in the fast car. I got the fully on me. Yeah, I got the AR. I got the switchy on me, so he cannot run far. Got a bad bitch in the back, she trying to lick the balls. In the school, I was in the halls. Trapping, 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 serving all the, uh. I was trapping, 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 serving all the raw. We gonna pull up, put the bullet right straight through his jaw. Put the glocky on his, hold up. I put the glocky on his fucking dome. Put a brick right through his head like he home alone. Put the brick right to his head like it's home alone. So tell me why bro tried to stab me in the middle of the hallway in school, bruh. Now this was a couple years ago, you feel me? I'm out of school now. Bruh, so, alright, we gonna put it like this. Because you feel me, I ain't faking no story times. You feel me? I ain't faking no story times. All my shit is real. So... I ain't gonna say no real names, so we gonna use fake names. We gonna say Jack, and we gonna say Melvin. Now let's take Jack. Jack was like your typical, stereotypical nerd bitch of the school. Like, he was like an easy target. Niggas used to bully him, niggas used to try to bitch him and shit like that. So it's like, you really don't get no type of cool points for messing with him. You feel me? Like, I feel as though anybody who was messing with him, you feel me? Like, it's like, you a bitch for real. Like, you not, you not, like, you not trying to mess with nobody that's really, you feel me? Like, somebody that'll slap the shit out you back for real. Like, you messing with a nigga that's a bitch. So it's like, you feel me? The nigga Melvin, me and him was cool for real. I ain't gonna say we was cool because, like, nigga, we was only in school. Like, we literally was just sit across from each other in the same class. So, you know, you feel me? Like, you gonna automatically talk to niggas that's at the same desk as you. And you feel me? This was like, I think this was 10th, yeah, this was like 10th, 11th grade for real. So, boom. The nigga Melvin set up Jack and robbed him. So, I'm like, You want some, you want some, you want some weird shit, bro. Because it's like, it's Jack, bro. It's fucking Jack. Like, what did you get out of doing that to Jack? So ever since then, I was like, bro, when he come back to school, I ain't fucking with him. Like, straight up. Like, you feel me? A nigga can't force me to be friends with him. I don't even know this nigga. That's what I'm saying. We only go to school together. So it's not like I owe this nigga some type of loyalty or some shit, nigga. We just go to school together type shit. So... You feel me? The nigga come back to school. He tried to dap me up. I'm like, you feel me? I just walked right past him. I'm like, go ahead, bro. You was on some bitch ass shit, bro. Like, why the fuck would you do that to bro? This nigga gonna start pushing me in the hallway, bro. I'm like, bro, I'm not playing with you, bro. I'm not Jack. You feel me? Jack might have went for that. Jack, Jack the school bitch, not me. You feel me? So I'm not Jack. I'm like, you feel me? Chill out with all of that. You feel me? We go to our classroom, right? I'm in motherfucking my third period. I'm in motherfucking health class. We in that bitch learning about the body and shit like that and all type of shit. I see the nigga at the motherfucking window. Like, say I was sitting in the back of the classroom and you could see, like, the door was clear for real. So you could see. I see the nigga at the motherfucking window with another nigga. You feel me? I'm trying to think of a name for another nigga. We're going to say, we're going to say Jill. Since we said Jack, we're going to say Jill. With, a, with, with the nigga Jill. And they basically was trying to get me to come out the classroom. And you feel me? I'm already remembering how he was already just acting that morning. So I'm like, you feel me? I'm, I, you feel me? I'm getting up. I, you feel me? I get up. I'm like, excuse me. Can I step out the classroom, please? I go right out there to see, you feel me? Why they signaling me and shit. They like, the nigga Jill like, yo. Y'all ready? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I got to rewind back. 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 Hold up, y'all. I got to rewind back because I'm missing the whole key part of the motherfucking part when he motherfucking, you feel me, did that shit. So before the health class, before the health class, like when, when, like when we was literally switching periods to go into the classroom, that's when the shit happened. He seen me again before we went into that third period. 
and when we was in the hallway at that point, he tried to dap me up again. And like I said, the same shit. You feel me? Like, bro, go ahead, bro. Like I said earlier, I ain't fucking with you, blah, blah, blah. Then this nigga going to take out this fucking, this nigga had a pocket knife, bro. You know, like the pocket knife, the little switchies. You feel me? He took out his pocket knife and had, and had, had, had that bitch towards me. Like, you feel me? Like, towards my stomach and shit like that. Talking about blah, blah, blah. He ain't even, he, he ain't even really say nothing for real. Like, he really was just like, what you trying to do? And I'm like, bro, first of all, I'm not scared of no motherfucking knife because you're not dumb enough to stab me in the middle of the motherfucking hallway. And it was just like, this story always blew my mind because it was like, I remember it so vividly. We was literally in the middle of the hallway, everybody transitioning. So it's older grades, younger grades, everybody transitioning, teachers right there, and nobody seen that shit. Like, how the fuck? And we was literally in the middle of motherfuckers walking past us, and ain't nobody see that shit. So you feel me? I'm like, all right, that's a bet. So I'm already knowing what type time he on. At that point, I really already wanted to fight him right there. But it's like, at the same time, I ain't no dumbass nigga. What the fuck I look like swinging on a nigga that got a motherfucking knife in his hand. I ain't fucking stupid. You feel me? But I know at the end of the day, I know he really a bitch behind that knife. And if you put that knife down, I'm going to beat the fuck out of him type shit. So you feel me? I let it go. Boom. Then, that's when we go into the third period. Once we get into that third period, and then what I said happened before, that's what happened. He ended up coming back to the door. The nigga Jill was at the door. I come out, and then these niggas like, y'all ready to go in the bathroom and fight one-on-one? -on -one? And I'm like, all right, that's a bet. But I told my other mans to come out the motherfucking classroom too, because I'm like, yo, if you pull out that motherfucking knife, we're going to beat the shit out you in here. Like, we're going to bank you. Like, we got all rights to jump you. Like, if you pull out a weapon, niggas have all rights to jump you at that point. Because it's a one-on-one -on -one fist fight, blah, 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 blah. So, boom, we bopped down to the bathroom. You feel me? This nigga had all that mouth, bro. He had all that mouth. As soon as we get in the bathroom, about to, you feel me, shoot our ones. This nigga gonna look at me and ask me, so we doing face shots or body shots? Fuck you mean is we doing face shots or body shots, nigga? You just had a fucking knife on me. And you asking me, is we doing face shots or body shots? Yes, we doing face shots, nigga. I'm about to beat the fuck out you, nigga. I'm about to beat your ass, nigga. I'm about to beat your ass, nigga. What you mean? I'm about to beat your ass. You feel me? So, yeah. We raised squad up. The nigga swung one time. I weaved that bitch. I just start fucking rocking this shit. But it was like the fight was ass. Like, I'm going to keep it a buck. The fight was ass because the way that nigga fight, you know when a nigga don't even fight. Like, he was a nigga, he was a big nigga that just grab you type shit. So it was like, once I start, like once I really start rocking him, he automatically just went for the tackle and got me up against the, uh, like, against the wall. But as he got me against the wall, I'm just beating his head in. You feel me? So he literally just got his arms wrapped around me holding like this, but while he doing that, I'm just sitting here like, fuck it, fuck it, nigga, I'm just beating the shit out the top of his head, nigga, like, I know he had a motherfucking hella lumps on the top of his shit, like, the fight was ass for real, but it was like, that was really was a waste of time, because it just goes to show niggas be bitches behind weapons and shit like that, like, you feel me, you was doing all of that, you pulled a knife on me, you out here fake robbing niggas, but you really a bitch, you really ain't got no type of Posure, you really ain't got no type of you feel me? I don't know. I don't know. Niggas just be weird out here for real. But yeah, that was the story to be honest with you. Niggas beat the shit out of yo. Motherfuckers was recording. The video definitely got around the school and shit. So motherfuckers seen that shit. I don't know where the fuck the video at now to this day. You feel me? But yeah. Make sure y'all hit that motherfucking like button. Make sure y'all hit that motherfucking subscribe button. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Niggas was getting in the hella fights in high school. So I definitely can give y'all hella motherfucking story time on fights. Not even just fucking high school. Middle school. Motherfucking elementary school. Nigga. I remember all them shit. So I can motherfucking give y'all hella motherfucking story times on hella shit that happened. Uh, Yeah. Like I said before, I'm trying to be more consistent with the YouTube. But this is my last time saying... I'm being more consistent. I'm going to just show y'all and just keep dropping. You feel me? Hit that motherfucking subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And I'm gone.